la 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 <laughs> hey, boy, if this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but oh, I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? Welcome to the family, y'all. If you're a new subscriber, <laughs> we only dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuzz. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. Sometimes we cry. We share, we love, we enlightened. Hazy vibes only over here. Positive type teens. Returning family. Hey y'all, hey, what's poppin'? Y'all showed y'all ads for them views. Thank you, lines. Which brings me to my next um uh subject here. Guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the love. Y'all, y'all don't even know. First off, this is the first year. Really, like in the last couple of months that I ever received donations, so I was just like, Y'all love me, love me. And it's been a few lines who did it, so thank you so very much. I love y'all so much. Thank you for the love. I truly appreciate it from the most humble space ever. All right, also, you guys, this will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Leo for mid month October. It's not gonna resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest, leave that damn shoe for someone who can fit it, okay, to walk it. And don't be going fucking nuts over some shit that you want to use your intuition about. You got to go inward. Speaking of which, are you guys listening to the inner self? Not looking outside of yourself for the answers, Leo. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's get it. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the four of clubs, okay? So let me know a lot of you guys could be dealing with... um. A few things around surrounding control and the aspect of surrendering. I heard surrendering very strongly for you guys. So let me go ahead and jump into your intuitive messages, okay? First intuitive message that I got for you guys. Creativity. Controlling spouse. Not looking back. Ancestry revelations. Blind faith. Forgiveness. Surrender. Just trust. Speak up. New start, lessons, crown chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, <laughs> suppression, clarity, children, sacral chakra, new love, alignment. Speak up. <laughs> so let's talk about it, lines. Let's talk about it. Right? First angel message that you guys got was Beloved One, Archangel Chamuel. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. For some of you all, you worried about, some of y'all are trying to hold on to a situation and spirit is trying to move that situation out of the way. However, there's this fear of you speaking your truth about, speaking your truth and setting boundaries to completely close one particular door because I feel like there's this aspect of safety. Like some of you all are comfortable with a particular person. You may have history with this individual. This person may be trying to come back and reconcile during this time. And for some of you all, it involves a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Others of you, it has to do with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And some of you all, it has to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I also feel that for some of you all, I'm hearing career. So for some of you all, this has to do with your career, holding on to situations, circumstances, environments that no longer serve serve in the greater asset of your peace of your growth. Some of you all are not living your truth when it comes to the things that you value, especially your spiritual practice. Some of y'all are putting on a face for family members knowing damn well you ain't out here praying, you know, to Jesus. Some of you all are more so universal. Some of you all also are being called to pick up the occult. Some of y'all are high priests and high priestesses. Others of you, you're afraid to walk your path again out of obligation to either, um, or pretty much trying to want to hold on to people, places, and things that's already been kind of acting a bit wavy with you. You kind of feel the shifting in energy and it's because you're ascending. So of course you're not going to be the same as a situation or a circumstance that you were aligned with when you were in your shadows. 
Period. So don't try to make that damn shoe fit. All right. Spirit is saying, speak up and know that you are. Some of y'all are being used as a vessel during this time to deliver some type of truth. You're being the you're being used as a catalyst to someone else's awakening, who also mirrors that aspect of abandonment, rejection, control issues, manipulation. Okay. And I'm not speaking like how Leo's manipulative, but some of y'all are fucking manipulative, and some of y'all will lie and play victim to hold on to some shit. Just saying. I've had many Leo friends. I fucking love y'all. So this is not from a space of judgment. This is from a space of observation. Of just being around a bunch of y'all. Okay? So that type of behavior is being released. A lot of y'all are, um, you're experiencing some type of rebirth. So some of y'all may experience like this shifting, like this emotional roller coaster. You may be experiencing a, what, what seems like a, an emotional roller coaster for the mid-month of October. Spirit is saying that that will too, that will too pass, baby. It's only temporary. It has to do with your, with your awakening. Some of you all are also, uh, gaining the gift of premonition. For those of you who have felt as if you were cloud, cloudy before or things were blocked, I do see that block being removed as far as you being able to receive information within your third eye some y'all are have some y'all are holding esoteric information you may also have pisces or cancer in your chart to the leo who i'm speaking to but you're being pushed towards your life path which is one of being an advocate of some sort being a public speaker for some of you all some of y'all this also have to do with your ability to heal others this could have to do with reiki work this could have to do with some type of chiropractor this could have to do with some type of massage uh, chiropractor work this could have to do with like deep tissue uh work some of y'all are herbalists yet you want to hold on to a job that stresses you out and don't leave you enough energy at the end of the day to work on your dreams you exert it in somebody else's the spirit is saying listen trust me on this i got you will you trust me okay for others of you i'm um, sorry the next angel message that you got tripping out breathe in fact i felt very anxious during your reading some of you all are wanting to see something like right now, yesterday, last week, fast. And Spirit is saying, all good things that are worth having is worth waiting for. Something is being prepared for you, Leo. You just have to trust the process, okay? Archangel Raphael says, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns, okay? So for some of you all, if you have a tendency maybe to flip the fuck out or just go to hell off, into assumptions or kind of jump at the gun spirit is saying hold up wait a minute take a deep breath okay and assess the situation step outside of your emotions or your emotional tie to particular situations and be able to look at it from another perspective like as if you were standing on the outside looking in because some of you all you're having some type of realization when it comes to someone's mental health and how it's ancestral within their family some of you all are dealing with people who are just simply addicted to fucking chaos which is why spirit is saying why are you trying to hold on and control the situation that i'm trying to remove in order to bless you baby we'll read this again beloved one i'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship for some of you all it is a clearing in order for something to speak up but you are the I mean, it's in order for something else to step forward but you are the tower with your speaking up and knowing that your angels and your ancestors got your ass, you covered like flies on sh like like flies on shit. You covered, covered. So you have nothing to fear. Some of you all have this fear of loss, and spirit is saying, before you just accept defeat as if you've lost something, how about looking at it as if I'm preparing yourself as well as your blessing to be more receptive and appreciative for the energy by this space of removing it in order to. Um, to give you this sense of acknowledgement and also give you this sense of some of y'all being forced to face your fears of being by yourself and it's okay because I don't feel like it's going to be a long period. By November, a lot of y'all are going to be right back in love. If you're going through a breakup with someone during this retrograde, know that it's only temporary. That's what I'm hearing. It's temporary. Okay. When it comes to your finances, you guys, as well as your subconscious space, for some of you all, there's this, yeah, some of y'all are allowing what other people say. Don't, 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 the advice here is not to allow what other people say to affect, to affect the reality in which you're building for yourself, because I definitely feel like, and for some of you all, I'm perceiving this differently, okay? For some of you all, this ties to a family tie, a family situation. I do feel whatever it was that you weren't, that you didn't have clarity on in the past, or that you were waiting on some type of missing piece of information, I do see that missing piece of information to come in. Some of you all are gaining full under, the, the full understanding or clarity around a particular situation or someone in order to make a, a balanced decision, okay? You're going to understand why spirit, man's rejection is God's protection, okay? For some of you all, 
this has to do with turning in turning inward within self some of you all are really there's this need for you not to overexert yourself doing shit for other people during this time and to really focus on what it is that you're trying to build some of y'all got to get more organized if you own your own business because i do see you have shit all over this all over the place okay but others of you there could be this feeling of feeling like this this self-doubt spirit is saying you are creating that by what you tell yourself when you're tuning inside of it tuning into yourself speak life into yourself a lot of you all um the, the advice here is some of y'all need to listen to positive affirmations regarding the self i am abundant i am the creator of my own reality i am you know the great i am some of y'all are needing to inherit that asset to yourself. I am. Speak life into your dreams. Speak life into uh, the things that you want to manifest when it comes to your love life. I feel like a lot of you all, this has to do with business. People got some shit to say about what you ought to be doing. And I feel like some of y'all people are returning into your life to give you clarity, but they're giving you clarity out of, out of their own, out of their own side intentions of this, their own um, agenda to manipulate you to kind of make you feel bad or make you feel as if you have to give back to a situation in order to hold on to it. And spirit is saying, no, 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 no. Some of y'all, this has to do with possibly another fire sign like yourself. Somebody created hell for themselves. And they love you to go create that hell. So that, my friend, is their motherfucking karma. Let it happen. Because in order to, in, in, in doing so, Spirit is saying you are creating that happiness by not allowing the bullshit. I feel like for some of you all, there are people coming in in the mid-month of October that are going to be discouraging you. Oh, no, I wouldn't open my business right now because you got you just had a baby. Oh, I wouldn't do this because how are you going to be able to do this? How are you going to be able to Listen, understand, become the master of your own reality. By creating that thing. Wherever the mind is dwelling. That is where your reality is. That's pretty much what you, what's going to materialize in your reality. Here, okay. So Spirit is saying for some of you all this is about self mastery. When it comes to dealing with outside projections. Watch your temper during this time. Because I do feel like some of y'all have people trying to provoke you. Okay. So let's get into this love life y'all. I gotta go pick up my baby from practice. These videos can be too, too, too long. Plus, I want to try and get everybody done. I'm still trying to get on if I'm going to do my live streams uh, for this month's views now or if I'm going to pick it up um, in November. So, y'all, I'm just trying to make sure everybody get their videos for now. Okay? So, y'all bear with me. Here, what messages do you have for my beautiful line, Summer Rising Venus, as well as the cross watches for mid month October? What can they expect in love? It's just general for the mid month of October. Hmm. Some of you all are making a judgment call when it comes to dealing possibly with a Sagittarius person who wants to come in and start a new beginning. This could be some type of family situation. For some of you all, this offer is coming through a Virgo. And for some of you all, you're giving somebody an ultimatum in the middle uh, in the mid month of um October, some of y'all are choosing to remove yourself from a third party situation since this person can remove themselves from their damn marriage or their relationship to start this new because you know your work. Your work is being tested during this time. But some of y'all, this is also happening within your finances. Should you choose to trust in trust in the guidance that you're receiving from your ancestors, from the most high, you guys, <laughs> you got this in a bag. It empowers you. Laying a situation to rest. At least within the mental space and obsessing over, because uh, some of y'all, this this is a sense of obsession. Either you or another person could be obsessing over fixing some type of family family situation. Okay, some of you all, some of y'all could be receiving some type of unexpected court papers in the mail. I feel like this is for your benefit. Somebody wants to get some shit. Y'all are manifesting wealth, honey. Some of y'all are manifesting abundance. And I feel like you're doing it through your thought space, through hope. Somebody here kept hope, kept hope in the situation. Some of you guys could have been married to a Libra. And this person doesn't want to divorce y'all. They want to start over. Being in this space of not being in your energy and being away from you. Some of y'all, this person could have had a baby that could be illuminated during this time. Before you made a decision, you went, you was trying to drag your feet and wait for things to be illuminated. Especially if you're dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. For some of you all, there's positive information when it comes. For those of you who are looking to go back to school, it looks very positive during this time. Especially when it comes to um, loans and grants. They look to be very flourishing. I do see that going through in your favor, okay? For those of you who are waiting on some type of legalities to clear up, I'm hearing 401ks. 
I'm also hearing unemployment. So some of you guys could have been waiting on some type of unemployment decision. Looks good, baby. Okay. And I feel like for some of you all, the advice with that unemployment is to take a break, not too long of a break, but invest in yourself with the monies that you're going to be receiving. Because for some of you all, it's just that missing piece that you were needing in order to get shit moving. Spirit is saying even 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 the smallest things like strategics around how you're going to market your business, okay, what your brand is going to be, your website, who you're going to use to uh, get to do your website, or for that matter, are you going to create your own website, how much does it cost to get your DBA? Those things, that you, though they seem small, they're very imperative, okay? Some of y'all got a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person wants to come in and make it right with you. For some of you all, it's not a fire sign. It's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And some of y'all, it could also just, some of y'all could actually be reunited with a twin flame. I feel like as soon as you stop giving a fuck and walked away from this connection, somebody's karmic partner. Somebody's karmic partner, especially if you're in a twin flame union, you could be finding out that somebody's karmic went back to their child's mother or child's father to go reconcile a family situation. And now this person's wanting to come to you and Leo is like, bitch, I'm not going to be your second nothing. What the fuck? Okay. Well, others of you, some of you all, some of y'all have been trying to make a situation work in a, in, a, in a family situation with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And Leo, I really feel like you just motherfucking tired. You done with trying to be this person's everything. Some of y'all, this person needs their fucking mama, not a spouse. Because I feel like you're doing everything for this individual. And for some of y'all, this person is very ungrateful. Or they choose to not see their own flaws in situations or how they, how their actions, um, how their actions can jump shit off and then when you pop off this person it's like well why are you acting like that only thing i said was and you like motherfucker did you not just hear how you was talking to me what you said watch your temper during this time i feel like that's why your angels want you to breathe okay and also be able to go inward and not allow not not allow another person to stir up your peace okay some of you guys could also be dealing with yeah some of y'all have children with the person and i feel like some of y'all gonna have to block this person and just tell this person to just deal with you when it comes to child support or deal with you when it comes to co-parenting co with your child because I feel like this person is trying to be a blockage to a new relationship that you have or something that you really give a damn about getting off the ground. This could also be your partner's, uh, your partner's child's mother or child's father. Your partner could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. I heard Scorpio though. Yeah, some of y'all are in love with a water sign. This person wants to come into your life. And I see some of y'all letting this person in your life. Leo got new beginnings. Come on now. But some of you all, there may be, uh, some of y'all old job may call y'all back as well. During this time, I see, um, I'm hearing the 1st of November. Some of y'all may actually go back to an old job or have the opportunity to go back to the company with a higher position. Yeah, folks is missing Leo energy now. They ain't had no access to it, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Gemini. I definitely feel like, again, Twin Flame Union, Twin Flame want to reach out. They miss their boo-boo. But for some of you all, they're coming in this space of financial lack because I feel like somebody's karmic literally, like, bled their ass dry. Some of you all want to mend a situation with a fire sign. However, you feel as if you don't have enough finances or this fire sign does. But I feel like spirit actually being... Spirit sending some type of divine intervention in a situation and blessing this person financially in order for things to move forward. Somebody's coming in to surprise you, Leo. Why is, um, and some of you all, some of y'all could be reconnecting with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This could be somebody who things didn't get off the ground with in the past because they were in a relationship. This person is coming to make an offer right when you leave it. So some of y'all are ending a relationship and jumping right into another one after, after a small period of healing. They want you to give back to yourself first and take care of yourself. A lot of y'all need to make massage and spa days. Why is the judgment card here? If some of you guys are afraid of starting this new beginning because you do not allow your past to dictate where you where you where you're going, okay? Some of you guys got a family situation with an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person wants to come in, they want to offer you this new beginning, and they are coming through as a soulmate. But somebody has to choose between you and another person. And I do see Leo, a lot of y'all getting chose. There's gonna be a third some of y'all, if if this person is married, you're removing yourself from a third party situation and it's going to attract a new person. I feel like for some of y'all this new person could definitely be another Leo like yourself, a Gemini, an Aries. 
Some of you all, your justice isn't leaving somebody in the fucking dust for how they did you. They thought a situation was going to work in their favor by going back to possibly a child's mother or a child's father just to find out that they have to be the person who is the thinker, the breadwinner, because this fucking person only was coming for this individual because they was coming for you. They saw this person happy and wanted to sabotage that, but they was jealous and wanted that happiness only to find out that they have a childish ass, karmic ass connection that's not going to work because it's not destined to work. So rather this person is with you or anybody else, this shit's going to go to fucking shits. Period. Somebody's coming to their realization during this time. Somebody's recognizing you as a past life soulmate. Why is the justice here? Mm, y'all cards are falling. Some y'all, the, the number two and the number four is very important for y'all during this time. Balance is coming around the foundations, okay? Balance is coming to a building more, a building a more so solid foundation. But some y'all is by exiting, allowing some shit to exit for things to be renewed, okay? Some of y'all definitely got to set boundaries when it comes to a water sign who you have children with. Some y'all could be dealing with two water signs. But I definitely feel like. Leo won't new shit. And I feel like for those of you who is having some type of financial, I mean, not financial, uh, transportation issue, help is on the way, baby. I'm hearing way around it, way around it. For those of you who are having issues with your personal vehicle, you it's something about, some of y'all also may be starting, uh, starting a job with Uber just to get a damn car. If you were thinking about it, there's your confirmation. It's going to open up another door later. Okay? Got to do what you got to do to get to where you want to go. For some of you all, yeah. Some of y'all, um, you could be dealing with the sign of Libra, an air sign, Jamali request. Somebody doesn't want the divorce, baby. They want to work it out. They want to bring balance to a situation, and they want to come in and show you the other. Either you feel this way about this person, or this person's feeling that way about you, take your high resonate, okay? Some of y'all are also finding out that you're pregnant or or, or is going to be giving birth mid-month of October. Congratulations, baby. Mocha love the kids. Some of y'all uh, thought that you were pregnant with a little girl and you're going to find out that it's two babies up in there. Whew, congratulations. <laughs> Double blessings. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? Yes, a new beginnings, baby. Possibly with a fire sign, too. Hmm. Others of you just has to do with a new job opportunity as well. Maybe you was telling yourself negative things. Ain't nobody gonna hire me pregnant. It's just a lie. Here they come. Why the four ones here with the page ones? Some of y'all are reunited with an Aries, a, uh, Aries, Libra, Cancer, or Capricorn. This person could be a twin flame to you or a soulmate. Or this is definitely a divine partnership, baby. The angels got that covered. But I feel like for some of you all, this person is coming back in financial lack or coming back in this space of. Yeah, some of y'all, this person feels, this person feel bad. They're afraid of being rejected by you because they know that they did you bad. They love you so much, though. And they really want to end the conflict and bring back the love, okay? I got the king and queen of hearts here to clarify that. They want to bring back love in a situation. But some of y'all, they ended some shit with possibly, possibly somebody who they have kids with to come back. This person is like, you can't tell me no. I literally risked, risked it all to show you that I'm serious about fucking up and I'm not going to do that anymore. I've seen how that hurt you. But some of y'all, you could be pregnant with this person's baby. This person does not want to not be in this child's life, okay? They want to fix it. For somebody, some of y'all could have been in with a fire sign who denied your child. Or denied having a child. Some of yeah, some shit gonna be illuminated with some of y'all with your partner that your partner made a child while in a relationship with you. Some of y'all if your partner is pregnant, you may be finding out that some of y'all gonna be finding out that your partner was telling two people that they the father to get some money out of one person who they plan on walking away from, or your partner may have told somebody that they had an abortion. Not to stir shit up with you. If somebody's coming to check the checker, this is deep. Y'all better hit me up for a fucking read, honey, okay? This is crazy. Why is the page of pentacles here with the four swords? Somebody wants to bring some type of, yeah, some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign. Every deal side to This could be somebody who you have kids with. They don't know how to say I'm sorry. This person really don't earthly know how to even come back to the situation. This person is coming back with money in hand and a whole lot of passion. Somebody is hoping that that damn booty get them back in the... That that booty get them back in good graces. <laughs> what you gonna do, Leo? <laughs> Why is the Queen of Wands here? Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Virgo. You want this person to get some type of rehab. Yeah. 
And for some of you all, uh, if you own your own business, baby, with this Queen of Wands here, business looks good. Yeah, look, it looks good. Some of y'all, you getting this uh, this sense of um of an expansive energy around your finances because you were letting the karmic situation go. That was Jupiter's reward for y'all. Come through, Jupiter. I love Jupiter. Okay, Hermit. Not a Hermit here. Hmm. Yeah, some of you guys are letting go. Some of you all are letting go of a situation possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a uh, or a Virgo. Yeah. And starting something new, possibly with a water sign, or just a new relationship, something new. Yeah, some of y'all letting go somebody with some heavy addiction issues. As much as you want this person to get right, they just won't do so. Some of y'all gonna find out you was dealing with a water sign. They recently reconciled with the Virgo, trying to be sneaky, and they got this person pregnant. Somebody's gonna start talking. They can talk up and, and, and pull this tea, okay? For others of you, they, they, there's a need for you not to stress about reconciling uh, with the soulmate. There's a need for you to feel as if, stop feeling as if you made the wrong damn decision when it comes to a soulmate. Let things, allow things to play out how they are. Because for some of y'all, you, you were trying to hold on to a situation when somebody, and some of y'all are holding on to a situation out of status. It's like you chose a head decision to choose a more abundant energy, but this, you, some of y'all bored in your connection with this person. This person could be older than you. It could be a Leo man with an older woman, water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. For those of you who are dealing with the sign of Aquarius, they miss you, baby. I, some of y'all could have put an Aquarius out. This person wants to come back and reconcile. Some of y'all, somebody actually jeopardized, did something to jeopardize jeopardize a situation with someone who they love chasing money and end up losing out two times both ways yeah some of y'all could also be walking away from a Scorpio some of y'all could be finding out a damn Scorpio is pregnant and I feel like you really want to invest in this situation maybe this person is walking away from you and so you take a leap of faith to set some type of boundaries with another person others of you in Aries wants to come back in and transform a situation okay they miss you. They're sorry. Some of you guys could also be traveling to go see an Aries, taking a leap of faith and uh, wanting to move things forward. And I see you guys being victorious and doing so. And things are going to pick up very fast, okay? You guys are dealing with a lot of soulmate energy, a lot of abundant energy here um, for the mid-month of October, y'all. It looks damn good. Get out of your damn head. Some of y'all are in, in, in the cycle possibly with the uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or an, another Leo like yourself, or a Capricorn who just can't get their shit together. You over it, okay? Some of y'all are, some of y'all got an air sign that is stalking the fuck out of you. Some of y'all is a water sign that wants your partner, they want your partner to work things out. Some of y'all could have also had somebody trying to cause some type of financial blockages uh, towards, towards your, or on your money. In the past, this person could be a Gemini. Or a water sign. But I definitely, Spirit wants you to know that you are protected. Your union is protected. Your home is protected. Your children are protected. And your finances are protected. You already know magic works for the weak will. Fuck them sucky ass magicians. And keep it moving and shine on the bitch. Because they show sure looking to see if you're still shining. So make sure you cute for that. Okay? So this is what I have for my Leos for the mid month of October. I love y'all so very, very, very much. If you need the personal reading, that information can be found within the description. And thank y'all for the love in advance. Peace, love, light, and many blessings to you. Bye, babies.